Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. In this video, we'll show how to configure rates for a group block. There are two approaches to configuring group rates. Our first example is a month-long block for a bus tour. This tour stops at our hotel through the summer months, so we've created a negotiated rate valid for the season. This rate code is what we then used when we created the group master. By clicking the Room Matrix button on the ribbon bar, Cloud PM will display the rates. Since we built the rate code to reflect the same rates contracted to this group, there is nothing to configure. These rates are correct. What happens if we don't have an existing rate code with the same rates we've negotiated for a group? That's our second example. This block is for a wedding group. At our sample hotel, we've created a rate code, WED, for the purposes of reporting, but each group can have unique rates. For this group, the salesperson negotiated a rate of $99.99 on standard rooms only. I'll click Room Matrix to view the rates. You'll notice right away the rates from the rate code don't match what's on the contract. Not to worry, any rate on this view can be edited simply by clicking the rate field and entering a new amount. I can make this even easier to enter by changing the display order. By clicking the Room Type column, Cloud PM arranges the matrix in room type order. Since this group only contracted for room types K and Q, changing the display to room type order makes entering rates much easier. I'll click Save now that I'm done entering rates. The last step to completing this group is to block inventory. I'll review group blocks in a separate video. Thank you for taking the time to view this video. Please feel free to contact your account manager or our customer support center for additional questions.